okay part three of five amniotic eggs okay reproduction in vertebrates life sciences grade 12 okay oviparous and ovoviviparous vertebrates produce amniotic eggs okay the developing embryo is inside the amniotic egg that is either kept inside the mother's body okay this is in the case of ovoviviparous animals or outside the mother's body okay this is in the case of oviparous animals okay inside the mother's body you have ovoviviparous animals or outside the mother's body you have oviparous animals okay you know that okay please check my part two or five you are going to see this okay and now we are going to look at the diagrams of the amniotic egg okay we start with the diagram of an undeveloped amniotic egg okay you can have something like this okay let's label this diagram when you start from outside you have the shell okay you move one step inside you have the outer shell membrane okay outer shell membrane and you move one step inside again you have the inner shell membrane okay and then you have this part which is known as the albumen okay so you have this part which is known as the albumen this is the white of the egg okay it is the part which looks like the water okay so you have this and this okay it is known as the albumen okay this is the white of the egg this is the part which looks like water okay in the egg okay so you have the thin albumen and you have the thick albumen okay so this is the yolk the yellow part of the egg okay this is the yolk the yellow part of the egg and you have the yolk membrane or the yolk sac okay yolk membrane or yolk sac okay we are going to see the functions of each part okay and you have the germinal disc okay this is the germinal disc from which the embryo will develop okay and you have this forming inside the albumen this is known as the caleza and this is also the caleza okay caleza like this caleza okay caleza okay and you have the air space this is the air space okay like this the air space okay let's move on and look at the diagram of an amniotic egg containing a developing embryo okay you're going to have something like this okay so you can see this is the embryo you can see this shape is the embryo right and you have the amnion which is surrounding the embryo okay so you have the amnion surrounding the embryo okay you have the amniotic fluid which is produced by the amnion okay so you have the embryo and you have the amnion surrounding the embryo and inside the amnion you have the amniotic fluid which is produced by the amnion okay let's carry on now you are going to look for the two parts which are attached to the embryo okay those two parts they look like balloons okay the two parts are attached to the embryo okay you can see this and this they look like balloons okay so one the yellow one is known as the yolk sac okay and the other one is known as the allantois okay now you can see this membrane which is surrounding everything okay can you see this membrane which is surrounding everything this is known as the chorion okay the chorion in mammals will form the placenta okay the chorion in mammals will form the placenta okay let's carry on and you have this the white part which looks like water in the egg this is the albumen okay and finally you have the shell okay so this is how you can label okay now the functions of this part i'm going to write them down like this okay the embryo is nourished by one you have the yolk so the yellow part is the yolk and it serves as the food supply to the embryo okay and two you have albumen this is the white part and it serves as the water supply okay and you have the embryo is protected by you have all these parts shell amnion amniotic fluid allantois and chorion okay all these parts they are protecting the embryo 
Okay, so we are going to see our day protecting the Imbroi. Okay, so we start with the Alan Toys and the Corion. Okay, the Alan Toys and the Corion assist with the exchange of gases to and from the Imbroi. Okay, the Alan Toys and Corion assist with the exchange of gases to and from the Imbroi. Okay, and the Alan Toys, another function of the Alan Toys is to protect the Imbroi by removing or collecting waste product from the Imbroi. Okay, this is another function of the Alan Toys. Okay, let's carry on. And the shell is porous to gases to help the amniotic egg resist drying out. Okay, porous to gases, meaning that gases can pass through. Okay, let's carry on. And the amnion is the membrane that immediately surrounds the embryo. Okay, this is the embryo. You have the amnion surrounding the embryo. Okay. Let's carry on and you have the amniotic fluid produced by the amnion. Okay. Amniotic fluid produced by the amnion protects the embryo from shocks, temperature changes and dehydration. Okay. And you have the calaisi. Okay. Calaisi. Two of them. They are known as calaisi. The calaisi supports the yolk inside the albumen. Okay. So the calaisi, they hold the yolk in position. You can say they support the yolk inside the albumen. Okay. And finally, you have the germinal disc is the spot where the embryo will develop. Okay. The spot from which the embryo will develop. Okay. So these are the functions of all these parts. Okay. You can see the way I wrote them down so that you can remember. Okay. We are done with part three of five. Until next time, I will talk to you soon.